Well, good evening. Today, on Fire Emblem Fates, we're actually not going to progress with Chapter 11, but we're going to do our first invasion uh, throughout the, uh, the game at certain points. Uh, some uh, unwelcome guests will be arriving to our castle, and, uh, well, we gotta, we gotta mess them up. We gotta mess them up bad. So yeah, castle defense is basically like, uh, the enemies will, will, uh, they're gonna fly towards, towards me, and they're gonna try and seize my throne. So basically, like, if they stand on the, on the tile I'm standing on right now, uh, they, well, they pretty much win. So, uh, we don't want that. Uh, oh god, I forgot to move around my stuff, my, my areas. Oops. Well, uh... Whatever, hey, uh, it's the first one, it's the first invasion, it'll go fine. But yeah, give me a moment to, uh, prepare. Because we got some, uh, some enemies to deal with that are gonna try to seize the throne, but I will not allow that to happen. Alright, I think everything is in order. So yeah, I'm gonna remain exactly where I am. So in case anybody comes over here and tries to seize the throne, basically capture it, I can, uh, stop them, because, like, I'm standing on the throne, and the throne gives me boosts. It does. Alright, so let's see here. Probably want to get rid of the flying units first, definitely. Sure, why not? I'll throw a club at, at that Pegasus Knight. Mm -hmm. Alright. And of course we got this little thing over here. Oh yeah, Lilith. Um, yeah, she's going to be healing us, so that'll be nice. And Takumi. Takumi is going to go to work with that beautiful Fujin Yumi. Ah, excellent. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, I uh, I guess you can like move over, move over there. Uh, Sakura. Move you closer to here in case, like, uh, in case, like, we need to, like, heal somebody over here. And, uh, Orochi. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. This is nice. That's just depressing. That's that's just like that's the kind of stuff that's bad for the heart, dude. Oh my god. Uh uh. Oh. Uh. It's a good thing John Tron has such a perfect reaction for it. Uh Stuff like that I just I just can't get over because like it's just like why? How? Uh 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 There was something similar to that that happened off screen. Uh like so like I was in the middle of training and uh, Hinoka attacked somebody and like I guess like 
I don't know, man. Just like, like 90% chance to hit twice or something like that, and they both missed. I just, I'm just like, what? Ugh. <laughs> and there was another moment too. Uh, this guy with a hand axe or something, he like, he, he was like going up against Hana. And you know, and you know how that goes, like, a fighter with an axe versus a, a samurai. 8% chance to hit Hana, and it did hit her. 8%. I'm just like, 8%. 8%! Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Orochi's accuracy was 72%. Was it like that the first time when I attacked them? Because if so... I should be more understanding of that missing, but... I, I don't know, maybe I saw it as like 90 or... I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that was bullshit. That was fucking bullshit. It should've hit. It should've fucking hit, man. I'm so tired of these bullshit misses in, in my Fire Emblem games. Ugh. Ugh. Oh yeah, another thing about uh, castle battles. Uh, the enemies, the invaders, kind of tend to just ignore you and just break stuff. It actually makes it pretty simple, actually. Oh, yeah, and don't worry about your stuff getting broken. It'll repair itself after the battle's over. So there's no need to worry about that. Seriously. Rinka looks like she's holding a freaking baseball bat. It's silly. <laughs> Sakura, go ahead. Uh, not that. There we go. I know that, like, these purple... I know that, like, these guys have, like... I'm sure they have an official name. I just don't know it yet. Maybe when we get to... I think once we get to, like, Revelation, we'll, we'll figure that out, maybe. But for the time being, I, I just call them Invisibles. I think Invisibles are a good name for them. Better than Invader. But, well, I mean, they are invading right now. But, like, I'm talking about, like, in, in other missions and stuff like that. I don't know. I just like calling them Invisibles, but I'm sure they have, like, an official name. I know they do. It's just, I don't know. I'm just gonna wait right here. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh. Uh. Sure, yeah. Go ahead, sing a tune, Azura. Go ahead, do that. Whatever. B 
beautiful. That's Mozu for ya. Ah, that healing effect is nice. Uh, say, I'm gonna shoot you with this, uh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, flying units, they, uh, they don't do well against archers. They don't. They do not. Ha 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 ha. I'm stronger than I look. It's true. It's true. Uh let's see. I don't think any reinforcements are coming out of there, so I mean Well, oh, Hinata can alright. Go for it, Hinata. Ooh yeah, that's uh hmm. Uh, well, we can go for Steel Katana. All right, turn end. Okay. Yeah, archers can't, like, they can't counterattack from up close. They can't attack up close, period. Unless you have, like, a certain skill for them. Because, like, I know there's a skill in this game that, like, allows allows them to do that. Attack up close and counterattack up close. And there's also weapons that allow you to do that. So, yeah. But right now, Takumi has none of those things, so... Uh, he's just gonna have to attack from a distance, and just mess everyone up that way. And we're done! Alright. Excellent. And yeah, that was pretty much the first invasion. Uh, there's like three of them throughout the whole game. There was in Conquest, so it's gotta be the same here, right? But yeah, um, what to do, what to do? Is there anything else I can do? Well, I guess I could end the video right now. No, you know what? Uh, before we do that, um, there's, there is something I want to go over. Okay, so Kaze. Um, so, like, I guess I should... Remember how I said, like, Kaze has important relations to the main character? Just like Celeste does... And how Kaze is, like, the Celeste of Hoshido and stuff like that. Okay, well, like, I guess I should elaborate on that. But I'll let the A-rank support conversation do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna, like... Okay. Something for which I cannot be forgiven, no matter how much I wish to repent. Huh? I'm a worthless servant. It is my fault that you were kidnapped and taken to Nor. Your fault, what did you do? We had traveled to shave we have all traveled to shave that day, and I noticed Norian forces in the city. The same forces that would later kill Sumeragi and take you away. But I was young and, and I didn't know what what meant what their presence meant, so I said nothing. It's not your fault, Kaze, you were a child. How could you have known what would happen? I come from a long line of ninja that have always served the Hoshin and royalty. I was trained from an early age. If anyone should have understood, it was me. For such incompetence, I should have paid with my life. There's no way I can ever heal the suffering I've, ca I've caused you and your birth family. I should not even be allowed to speak with you. I am so sorry, Lord Drake. Stop, you did nothing wrong. If anything, I should be apologizing to you, my lord. I'm so sorry, Kaze. You must have been tortured by this for years. I never knew, and I've acted so inconsiderably towards you. But now I think it's time to forgive and to move on. We cannot allow the rest of our lives to be defined by past mistakes. Besides, you were the one who returned me, were you not? Returned you? Yes, it was you who traveled to the Flame Tribe in order to bring me back. And you were 
And you were the one by my side when I returned to Hoshido. It was you, Kaze. You gave me a chance to be with my birth family again. But, Kaze, you are not at fault. And even if you were, you have repaid your debt to me. So please, let us never speak of this again. Will you promise me that? Well, yes, I promise. Good. Heh. <laughs> you laughing at me? It's just, you remind me so much of Lady Mikoto. It warms my heart. I remind you of my mother? How so? When Lady Mikoto became queen, she forgave me and allowed me to serve her. I wonder if she somehow foresaw that her child would do the same one day. Perhaps you are the one I was always meant to serve. Hmm, what do you mean? As you must have noticed, all members of the Hoshido's royal family have two retainers, blah blah blah, you know the drill with that. For example, yeah, okay. Everybody has retainers, yep. Wait, so that means... Yes, I. though I have served the royal family for some time, I serve no single master. I've always been troubled by this fact, but perhaps Lady Mikoto arranged it. So that someday, when the time was right, I could serve you, Lord Drake. If you will have me, then I will pledge myself to you. I... Do you accept, Kaze? I do, I accept. Now, as your retainer, I hereby vow to protect you with my life. Sure, why not? You can become my retainer, of course. I have, like, five others already. Three of them are, uh, are still chilling in Nor. Two of them are here with me. Of course, I'm talking about Gunter, Flora, Jacob. Those three are, like... Well, Gunter's, uh, quote-unquote dead. Uh, Flora and Jacob are still chilling in Nor. Uh, Felicia is here with me, and so is Celeste. Celeste might as well be one of my retainers. And, uh, now I've got a Hoshido retainer. I got a retainer from Hoshido, so sure, why not? Welcome to being my retainer. I've got, like, six of them now. And soon I'll have a bride in the form of Azura. Hooray! Thank you. I pray it never comes to that, my friend. Alright. So, yeah, that's basically the deal with Kaze. So, yeah. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, yeah. Uh, why am I still keeping the video going? I've said all I need to say. Okay, what am I doing? End the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.